There's no other way to describe it except crazy and insane. That's right, I'm talking about the stock market here in March 2020. It is insane right now. Up a thousand points, down a thousand points. Crossing into bear market territory, a lot of fear and anxiety out there. That being said, if you have the right mindset, knowing that when stocks go down in value, they might be great buying opportunities, especially when we're talking about companies that are established, that have been there for many years, that will likely be there for many years to come. Companies that have been in existence for decades generate billions of dollars and revenue are known for passing those profits through to their shareholders as dividends. Companies that have been paying out dividends for over 25 years, ever increasing every single year, are known as dividend champions. The thing about dividend champions though is that most of the time, based on that long track record, their stock price is too high and as a result their dividend yield is not very competitive compared to other companies out there. But then again, it's March 2020 and the stock market is out of control and there are some amazing buying opportunities out there that I want to make you aware of. I generally don't own individual companies and that holds true in my retirement accounts. Whether it's my Roth IRA account or my 401k account with my employer, I do not own individual stocks. I own Vanguard index funds. Woohoo! I hold Vanguard index funds in these retirement accounts because I can't access the money until age 59 and a half. If I want to access money earlier than age 59 and a half, I need to own my investments in an individual brokerage account. And here's where I like to own individual stocks that pay dividends. So in this video, I want to share with you nine dividend champions, companies that have been paying dividends for at least 25 years and increasing that dividend every single year. In this video, I'm sharing with you those nine individual companies as well as the three key criteria I look at before I buy any dividend stock. Make sure to stick around all the way to the end of the video because dividend stocks number eight and number nine are amazing values that you don't normally find unless the stock market is absolutely melting down. Make sure to stick around all the way to the end to find out. What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Average Joe on Money here. And on this channel we talk about all things personal finance that affect people like you and me, the average Joe. So whether it's building your very first budget, how to pay off consumer debt as quickly as possible, how to build your credit and manage credit cards safely and responsibly, and of course how to invest your money for the long term, well then this channel is your one stop shop. So hey, I did a ton of research here in preparation for this video. I wanted to share with you nine stocks that probably Probably nobody else is talking about. So if you find some value out of this video or you learn something new, make sure to hit that like button below. It really helps out this channel and of course well, this video with that pesky YouTube algorithm. So hey, I want to get right to the value on this video. So let's jump over to my whiteboard and let's start the video. All right, guys, we're going to jump right into it. We've got nine different dividend champion stocks, solid companies that have been paying dividends for over 25 years consistently and ever increasing that dividend year after year. I want to talk very quickly about the three big key pieces of criteria I look at before I want to buy a dividend stock. In no particular order because I look at all three equally. The first thing I look at is how long the dividend has been paid consistently and increasing every single year. I don't play around with any dividend stock that hasn't been paying dividends since at least before the 2008 financial crisis. If the dividend has not been paid for at least 12 consecutive years increasing every year, I don't even look at or consider. Next thing I look at is dividend growth rate. The dividend yield is not quite as important to me as how quickly it is being grown. There are some high dividend payers out there that have very, very low dividend growth rates. And as a result, I could find a dividend stock that's paying a lower yield right now, but with an excellent dividend growth rate that will surpass the higher paying dividend stock. Because inflation is a very real number and a very real thing in life, I want a dividend growth rate for my dividend stock that's going to be at least 5% for the past year, past three years, five years, and 10 years. I want the number to be much higher than that, but it's gotta be at least 5%. The other big thing I look at is the dividend payout ratio. The standard calculation for dividend payout ratio is the amount of dividends paid divided by net income. But I don't use this calculation. You know why? It sucks. The big problem with dividend payout ratios based on net income is that net income can be manipulated based on what executives want the stock to look like. A better calculation, in my opinion, one that actually even gives you a little bit of a leading indicator for future dividend problems, is a dividend payout ratio based off of free cash flow. For the record, 
Free cash flow is defined as the cash a company generates after accounting for cash outflows to support operations and maintaining its capital assets. It is a really good measure of profitability. So instead of looking at net income, I look at the dividends per share divided by free cash flow per share. And based on this measure, I wanna see a dividend payout ratio less than 75%. The lower the better actually, because if I can see a dividend payout ratio of 30, 40, 50%, that tells me that the dividend is very safe and very healthy and can grow in the future. So when we talk about these nine dividend champion stocks, I'm gonna talk about these three key measures as why I'm looking at them so closely. The very first dividend stock that I'm looking at very closely right now is Bank First Corp, Oklahoma, Ticker symbol B A N F. Bank First Corp. Well, is a bank that has been paying out consistent dividends every year for the past 26 years, and every single year it has increased the dividend. The dividend yield as of the end of February 2020 was 2.50%, but that was based off of a stock price of $51.30. As of end of business Friday the 13th of March 2020, that stock price was $39.73, and based off of this stock price, the dividend yield is actually 3.22%. One of the biggest reasons why I'm looking at this company is the dividend growth rate. The one-year dividend growth rate is 31.2%. The three-year dividend growth rate is 18.7%, the five-year growth rate, 14.0%, and the 10-year growth rate, 10.6%. So even at 3.22% or 3.5%, that dividend is gonna keep on growing like crazy. Let's talk dividend health, though. Let's talk about the dividend payout ratio based off of free cash flow. As of fiscal year end 2019 for this company, the dividends per share was 124, and the free cash flow per share was 332. This leads to a dividend payout ratio of 37.35%. That is a very healthy dividend that is likely to grow and be very safe in the future. Keep your eyes on BANF, Bank First Corp. I'm certainly gonna have my eyes on this one as well. Okay, so the second dividend champion stock that I'm gonna have my eyes on here this week is Caterpillar Inc. The ticker symbol is C A. Caterpillar Inc. is in the industrial sector and has been paying consistent and increasing dividends for the past 26 years. The dividend yield as of the end of February 2020 was 3.32%, but that was based off of a stock price of $124.24. The annualized dividend is $4.12. The stock price as of end of business March 13, 2020 was only $99.64. This is equates to a dividend yield of over 4.1%, which is pretty amazing for a company that has been paying dividends as long as Caterpillar has. Okay, so let's talk dividend growth rate. The one-year dividend growth rate is 15.2%, the three-year growth rate 7.1%, five-year growth rate 7.8%, and the 10-year growth rate 8 0.4%. But let's talk about dividend safety again. Let's talk about the payout ratio. For fiscal year ending 2019 for Caterpillar, the dividends per share was $3.78 and the free cash flow per share was $6.86. This is a dividend payout ratio based off of free cash flow of only 55%, which leads for a ton of room for growth in the dividend as well as extreme safety. Meaning it's very unlikely that the dividend is going to get cut anytime soon. So this dividend champion stock, Caterpillar, C-A-T, is definitely on my watch list for this week. Okay, so the third dividend champion stock that I'm looking at this week is Colon Frost Bankers. Ticker symbol is C-F-R. This is a bank and it has been paying dividends consistently and increasingly every year for 26 years. Based on the stock price ending February 28th, 2020, the dividend yield was 3.62%, based on an annual dividend of $2.84. However, the stock price as of end of business March 13th was only $62.25, which leads to a dividend yield now of over 4.5%. Let's talk dividend growth growth rate though. The one year dividend growth rate is 8.5%, the three year growth rate 9.2%. 
the five year growth rate 6.6% and the 10 year growth rate 5.1%. So far it meets two of the three criteria. Let's talk about dividend safety based on that dividend payout ratio. As of fiscal year ending 2019 for this bank, the actual dividends per share was $2.80 and the free cash flow per share was $7.80. This leads to a dividend payout ratio of only 35%, which means there's a ton of room for growth. And this dividend is not going anywhere anytime soon. CFR, keep this one on your watch list this week. Okay, so the fourth dividend champion stock to keep on your watch list right now, given the meltdown in the stock market, is UGI Corp. Ticker symbol is UGI. This is in the utility sector, and their dividend yield as of February 28, 2020, was 3.61%. But this was based off of a stock price of $78.39 per share. As of end of business March 13th of this month, the actual stock price was $32.23. And based off of the annualized dividends of $1.30 per share, the actual dividend yield is over 4%. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to mention, this dividend has been paid by UGI Corp ever increasingly every year for 32 years. Let's talk dividend growth rate. The one year dividend growth rate is 12.3%. The three year growth rate, 7.2%. Five year rate, 7.3%. And 10 year rate, 8.1%. So for the fiscal year ending 2019 for UGI Corp, the dividends per share was $1.15 per share, and the free cash flow per share was $2.21 per share. This leads to a dividend payout ratio of only 52% based off of free cash flow, leaving a ton of extra room for growth and a lot of safety. Okay, so the fifth red hot dividend stock that you need to keep on your radar right now while the stock market is melting down is T. Rowe Price Group. Ticker symbol is T R O. W. T. Rowe Price Group is in the financial sector and they've been paying dividends consistently and ever increasingly for over 34 years. The dividend yield for end of business February 2020 was 3.05%, but that was based off of a stock price of $118.01 per share in February 2020. As of March 13th, that stock price was only $107.33, which equates to a dividend yield of 3.35%. Let's talk dividend growth rate. The one year dividend growth rate was 8.6%. The three year growth rate, 12.1%. The five year growth rate, 11.6%. And the 10 year growth rate, 11.8%. As of fiscal year end 2019 for T. Rowe Price Group, the dividends per share was $3.04 per share, and the free cash flow per share. $5.99. This leads to a dividend growth rate based off of free cash flow of 50%, which is an excellent dividend payout ratio and leads tons of room for growth. Keep this one on your radars. Okay, so the sixth dividend champion stock that we are eyeing this week is Eaton Vance Corporation, which is in the financial sector, ticker symbol EV, and it has been paying ever increasing dividends every year for 39 years. The dividend yield was 3.64% as of ending February 2020, but this was based off of a stock price at $41. The stock price as of March 13, 2020 was only $32.69. This leads to a dividend yield of 4.58%. The one year dividend growth rate was 11.3%, the three year growth rate 9.9%, the five year growth rate 9.4%, and the 10 year growth rate 8%. 0.6%. Eaton Vance's dividends per share was $1.43 per share and the free cash flow per share was $2.06. This leads to a dividend payout ratio of 69%. This is higher than the other ones we've talked about, but it's still below our 75% threshold that we're looking at. Keep an eye on Eaton Vance, especially if the market takes a tumble at some point this week or in the next couple of weeks. Okay, so the seventh dividend champion stock we have to keep our eyes on is McDonald's Corporation. I'm sure you've heard of this one. Ticker symbol is MCD. McDonald's has been paying ever increasing dividends every single year for 44 years. Now the dividend yield was only 2.58% as of ending February 2020, but this was based off of a stock price of $194.17 per share. As of March 13th, 2020, the stock price per share was only 
$77.13, but traded as low as $170 per share. Based off of the stock price ending March 13th, 2020, the yield is actually 2.8%, but it could pop above 3% depending on what price you can buy it for during the trading period this week or in the coming weeks. Let's talk dividend growth rate from McDonald's. The one year dividend growth rate 12.9%, three year growth rate 9.4%, the five year growth rate 7.6%, and the 10 year growth rate 8 0.7%. As of fiscal year end 2019 for McDonald's, the dividends per share was $4.73 per share and the free cash flow per share $6.76. This leads to a dividend payout ratio of 69%. Again, a little bit higher than the others, but definitely healthy. And a company like McDonald's, I mean, come on, they're not going anywhere anytime soon. Okay, so the eighth dividend champion stock you've got to keep your eyes on in the coming weeks is 3M. Ticker symbol is, well, three M's, M, M, M. The three M company has been paying dividends consistently for 62 years. And the dividend yield as of February 28th, 2020 was 3.94%, which was based off of a stock price of $149.24 per share. However, as of March 13th, 2020, the price per share was only $141.68, which leads to a dividend yield of over 4%. The one year dividend growth rate for the 3M company was 5.9%, three-year growth rate 9.1%, five-year growth rate 11%, and the 10-year growth rate, 10.9%. Okay, so let's talk dividend safety. Let's talk about that dividend payout ratio. For fiscal year end 2019 for the 3M company, the dividends per share was $5.76, and the free cash flow per share was $9.02 per share. This leads to a dividend payout ratio of only 63%, which is very healthy and very strong for a company like the 3M company, which has been there like forever. Definitely keep the 3M company on your watch list during this stock market. Market meltdown. Hey, I'm so glad to see you here at the ninth dividend champion stock. Do me a favor, drop a comment below that says, hey, I made it to number nine because you're freaking awesome. Thank you for watching this far. Okay, so the ninth dividend champion stock that we've got our eyes on is Genuine Parts Company, ticker symbol GPC. This is a company that's just ironclad. It's not going anywhere. It's like the Energizer Bunny. It just keeps going and going, doing business, making auto parts, and they just continue to thrive in all markets. Genuine Parts Company has been paying dividends consistently every year and ever increasingly for 64 years. The dividend yield as of February 2020 was 3.62%, and this was based off of a stock price of $87.24. That being said, March 13th, 2020, the stock price per share, $79.27 per share. The one-year dividend growth rate, 6.1%, three-year growth rate, 5.1%, the five-year growth rate, 5.5%, and the 10-year growth rate, 6 0.6%. As of fiscal year end 2019 for Genuine Parts Company, the dividends per share was $3.05 per share and the free cash flow per share $4.38. This again leads to a dividend payout ratio of 69%, very healthy for a company that's been paying dividends for 64 years. So there you have it. There are nine dividend champions, companies that have been consistently paying dividends on an increasing basis every year for at least 25 years, some of them over 60 years. These are the types of stocks that you buy at the right price and then you hold forever. Hey, if you haven't done it yet, and how have you not done it yet. Make sure to hit that subscribe button below and click on that notification bell to be alerted to all of my weekly videos. I aim to put out videos every Tuesday and Thursday and sometimes that turns into Wednesday and Friday because I've got a very full life right now. I'm married, I've got four kids, I've got a full-time job and I am super committed to putting out fresh new content to you, my audience, every week. So if you want to join the Average Joe on Money community, make sure you hit that subscribe button below. But the great news for you is the learning doesn't have to stop right now. You can click on these videos right over there.